Hello all and welcome to a Lazy Friday Afternoon Beer Review. Uh, this is your beer review of the week, I suppose. Uh, still kind of working my way through the backlog. Um, I have one non-alcoholic that I'm going to review sometime later this week. I don't know when, but um, yeah, probably during the work week or something like that. But what is it that we are reviewing tonight that is alcoholic? Well, we are reviewing West Mala Extra. So this is a Belgian pale ale. This is a true Pater's beer. So most people don't know that most Trappist ales, the doubles and triples and whatnot, are not actually drunk by the monks. They're too heavy, too rich, too indulgent. Uh, the beer that is given to the Trappist monks is usually the regular Pater's beer, which is uh, fairly light, relatively speaking, of course. And this is 4.8 ABV. Let's read the back here. This golden yellow, yellow extra ale is the ale that the Trappist monks of West Mali drink with their meals. Approachable, but still rich in flavor, that's what makes this Trappist beer so unique. Enjoy its fruity notes and its refreshing, crisp character. Yeah, and I'm looking forward to that. Because as you know, I love my Belgian beers. Love German beers, too. Love English beers. I'm just getting tired of IPAs, that's all. <laughs> Alrighty, I'm going to be pouring it into my tulip. This is from Bottleheads, by the way. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That's some head gut going there, bro. I wasn't even giving pouring this vigorously. See here, there's, there's still a little bit. Okay. So a slightly cloudy, opalescent, bright yellow. Very well carbonated with a thick, hmm, a thick white to off white head that is building up over the edge of the glass here. Huh, I was expecting a bit more of a phenolic note, but it actually has, um, more of a fruity note, in the bouquet that is, what I can get, because it's actually kind of hard to go and, uh, you know, get the sample of the smell out when it's, uh, get the bouquet going. The thing is this, yeah, don't want the dregs. So yeah, there's a slight bubblegum note there, slight clo clove note, but there's more of a white wine kind of veinousness to it, as well as a fruity note. Underneath that, there's sort of um, a crackery to bready malt base. Yeah. Hmm. Slightly evocative of lychee. Fresh cut kiwi fruit. Well, that's kind of emerging out of that sort of, um, you know, Wine-like note. Again, not getting too much of a bouquet off of it because, like I said, the bouquet and the foam has risen to the point where it's not collecting in the glass. I'll revisit it once it goes down a bit. Onto the palette now, shall we? Hmm. Light, refreshing. Not 
nicely sharp carbonation bite that's in the front all the way into the mids. Mild hot bitterness in the finish. As well as um, a bready note that lasts in the long finish. A slight lemony note in the front to mids. The phenolic, the phenolic aspect, that sort of bubblegum, is not as strong as in other Belgian pale ales I've had. It shows up more in the top note than on the palate. It's dry, but not as dry as some other Belgian pale ales I've had. The hops don't have much dimensionality other than blending their bittering aspect. In retrospect, I probably poured this a little bit too cold, but such is life. Feels a little bit closed up now that I think about it. Probably wanted it a little bit warmer than what I had it at. As it warms up, more of those um, phenolic bubblegum and clove notes are showing up on the palate, but again, um, it's fairly subtle, it's not very heavy-handed. As it warms up, the fruity notes are emerging more on the palate as well. Also a slight wine-like note. So I'd have to say this is very well balanced. It's almost like the malts, Belgian yeast, and hopping are all, you know, and pretty good coordination with each other but at the same time all of them are fairly reserved and understated you know um, it's not the big booming flavors that you usually associate with the uh, richer Trappist styles I can see why this is the uh, father's table beer It's refreshing, it tastes good, but it's not decadent. You know, it, it's it's um, pretty much the perfect thing just going to have with, you know, the air very, with your dinner, I suppose. By the way, <clears throat> by the way, this is the first time I've had, you know, the, um, 
I've had multiple Trappist sales before, but I've never had like a, you know, the, the table beer served to the father. So this is my first time with it. I have to say it's slightly different from your average Belgian pale ale, um, but not by much. It's the same flavor profile. It's just more restrained. Um, you know, <clears throat> it's not booming. Um, either in the malts or in the, um, you know, you know, it, like I said, sometimes they'll push the hops to make it a little bit more like it's American New World style. Sometimes the the yeast will go, they'll really double down on the yeast and get those, uh, you know, those um, phenolic notes. Sometimes they'll make it decadent by amping up the... Um, the malting a bit, but this one is just refined and understated. So Westmala Extra, this was six fifty, you know, so kind of pricey considering that the uh, double and triple were only fifty cents more than this. But hey. Um, I'm going to be able to go and cover all three of the beers that this Abbey puts out, so that's something, isn't it? <laughs> I'm going to be doing this course fairly slowly. It's going to be, um, like I said, I only review one beer a week now, so yeah. Give this one a shot. I mean... The basic table, you know, Father Pater's beer, the table beer of the monks, the Trappist monks of West Mala. And um, that is your beer review for this afternoon, folks. Cheers. <laughs>